The man literally put the gun in his butt. Okay? <laughs> like, why do you have a gun in your butt? Like... <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Stacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a turning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And also do not forget to turn on y'all post notifications so y'all can get notified every time your girl posts a video, okay? <laughs> so today is, what is today? What is today? Today is March 15th. It is Friday. It is 9.54 p.m. Let's see if my phone will focus. Hold on. It is 9.54 p.m. And your girl just got done doing her hair, doing her makeup, so y'all already know what time it is, okay? It's time to hit the booty club and it's time to make some money. I honestly feel like I haven't worked in so freaking long, so I'm actually excited about going to work tonight. And if you guys can tell, your girl's getting over her sickness, okay? Because I was sick as a dog. I ended up having to go to the hospital and trying to figure out what was going on with me. They ended up testing me for COVID and the flu and strep throat, and all my tests came back negative they said I didn't have neither one of them so I was happy about that but I was still confused because I was just like I'm still sick though you know what I'm saying like and it's going on week two like like what is really going on so they ended up just prescribing me some antibiotics and prescribing me some um, medicine for my symptoms and stuff like that and so your girl's getting better like I'm coming around a little bit you feel me like <laughs> I just, I don't know y'all, I'm just so happy. I'm starting to feel good because I haven't even been in the mood to really pick my camera up, if you guys can tell, because it's Friday. I usually try to pick my camera up like some, you know, sometime within a week, like maybe like on a Tuesday or Wednesday and start filming. But this vlog, if it's not long enough, you guys, I'm so sorry. I was just so freaking sick this whole freaking week, okay? But your girl did get her nails done today and look at them, y'all. They are so freaking cute. You, you can literally never go wrong with French tips, okay? So I went and got my nails done today. Today. and that's also another indicator that I'm feeling better because I actually wanted to get up and move around and get stuff done because when I'm sick I don't be feeling like doing nothing like all I want to do is freaking sleep so I did get my nails done today and your girl is about to get ready to go to work I don't really know what to expect out of tonight because for the simple fact I don't think nothing really big is going on in the city tonight I only say it's like a game going on tonight so we just gonna bank on a game that people come out. Like everybody that's at the game, y'all pop out to the booty club and request Barbie stacks, big booty stacks. That's what y'all need to say, all right? <laughs> when y'all come to the club, y'all need to be like, I need big booty stacks to the stage and I need y'all to show up, period. <laughs> y'all, the goal for tonight is, let's let's say the goal for tonight is $800. Like, like I said, I don't really know what to expect out of tonight. So I'm not about to just hit tonight with a big crazy number but our minimum is definitely $500. And I feel like I haven't made any money in a long freaking time. That's because last weekend, like I told y'all, I don't know if y'all watched my last vlog or not, but last weekend the club was closed Friday and Saturday. And the crazy part about the whole thing is they had opened up Sunday and Sunday when it opened up, they went up. Like them girls that came to work Sunday made a lot of freaking money. So I was definitely pissed off about that. They never confirmed that the club was gonna be open until it was time to actually go into the club. I live way too far to not know for a fact that the club is open or not so i ended up not going so this weekend we definitely need to redeem ourselves okay <laughs> but so for the ones who are new here my name is barbie stacks i created an ebook a month ago on how to become a stripper this ebook is really good for baby strippers and also girls that's been dancing for a while but just don't know how to secure the bag because that's a big problem like a lot of girls probably been dancing for like a good year or two and still don't know how to get to the bag what i did was i created an ebook because i have a lot of girls always asking me questions like literally all of my social media platforms on Instagram on TikTok on even in my comments on YouTube ask me questions about the club so I decided on just simply making an ebook and putting all my information in it for you to teach you guys everything y'all need to know about becoming a dancer but not only about becoming a dancer but also becoming a high paid dancer okay because anybody could become a stripper and I feel like people be getting that confused like oh yeah anybody could be a stripper it's not hard to become a stripper no it's not hard to become a stripper the goal is to become a high paid stripper a rich stripper at least a six figure stripper you feel what I'm saying you catching my drift <laughs> so I created this ebook that's going to teach you girls everything that y'all need to know from becoming a stripper to auditions how to pass your auditions 
how to pick which clubs are best for you, how to make your first thousand dollars in a night, your first night working, the game, how to talk to customers, how to tell if the customers have money or not, how to separate bums from ballers. Like the ebook literally goes in depth and detail on teaching you girls everything that y'all need to know. If I decided to price my ebook at a reasonable price because I want the book to be affordable for everybody to purchase. So the book is only $40 and it's literally gonna teach you how to make your first thousand dollars. Like that's literally an investment, $40? You're literally paying $40 to make $1,000. Come on now, like, <laughs> y'all better invest in yourselves. If, if y'all not investing in yourselves, what are you doing for real? It's 2024. If you don't invest in you, no one's gonna invest in you. Like, that's just how the cookie's gonna crumble. Like, if you don't invest in yourself, you're not gonna be invested in. So this is the ebook, y'all. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> the cover is so freaking cute. I literally love it. But make sure you girls cop y'all ebooks. I'm gonna make sure that I put the link to the ebook in the description box below so you guys can go ahead over and purchase y'all ebooks. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all will not be disappointed. And one thing for sure and two things for certain, reviews do not lie, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and head out, you guys. It's getting a little late. It's 10 3 I'm not too late. I'm actually doing really, really good on timing. But I do want to head out while I do have good timing so I can make sure I get there in a decent time so my tip out can be cheap. The longer you wait to get to work, the more you pay. So I'm trying to get up in that thing so I can pay my little $60 and I can walk out with my $800, okay? <laughs> but I'm about to get ready and head out. So I'll see you guys when I make it to the club. <laughs> What's up you guys, so today is the next day. Today is March 16th, it is Saturday. It is 3.19 and your girl just woke up, y'all. <laughs> I know I probably look crazy, but it is what it is. I was so freaking tired. I'm so happy that we got out of the club early last night now that I'm thinking about it because I was tired as hell. Like when the club I work at closes early, it be like a blessing in disguise because it's kind of like you get to go home early, yes, but then you be so tired because you don't get a chance to get no rest. You feel me? But let me tell y'all how the club was last night, y'all. So last night, the club was weird, okay? Let's just start out there. The club was weird. When I first got to work, right, my homegirl was like, Barbie, hurry up, put your clothes on. These Mexicans got $400. So I'm like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Let me hurry up, throw these clothes on. I hurried up, threw my clothes on, you know what I'm saying? Then my little one, two, three, and I walked out there. A waste of freaking time, okay? Whole time we over there, all the Mexicans want to do is feel, touch, grab, smack, you know what I'm saying, rub up on. And I really wasn't feeling it for real because it's kind of like, y'all acting like horn dogs for, for two, y'all really don't got no money for real. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, in a sense, I kind of felt like I was being, not molested, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I kind of felt like I was being sexually harassed. Like that, that's what that gave. It didn't give, I'm in a strip club and I never feel like that. Just imagine the type of stuff they was doing. I kind of felt like they were sexually harassing me in a sense because they was like touching, grabbing, slapping, smacking, rubbing up against me. But mind you, not really giving no money for real. So I was just like, at a point, at a point, I was just like, just like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, for real, like, like, like this shit gotta stop. This, this gotta stop. You know, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not that, I'm not that type of girl. Like, like I told y'all, I'm not that type of person to be uncomfortable for nobody. Like, absolutely not. Like, you gonna do but so much until I stop you. And I'm like, hold on. You feel me? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand in the strip club, dudes is gonna smack your butt. They might grab it. They might brush up against you. But... How they was doing it, they was doing it in a sexually harassing manner. And I was not jacking it. I was not, I was not feeling it at all. So I ended up telling the sweeper, I'm like, yo, come get my money. Cause I'm gonna end up smacking the hell out of one of these Mexicans. Like, cause I feel disrespected low key. And I don't like to feel like that. Cause once I feel disrespected, I get disrespectful. So please come pick my money up. So as I'm about to walk off, why one of the Mexicans gonna take my arm? He took my arm like this and pulled it towards him like I was a child. I went the hell off on him. You know exactly what I said? I ain't even gonna go into details, okay? <laughs> I ain't even gonna go into details because I don't even know if that's gonna pass YouTube's guidelines because I went the hell off on that man. Don't you dare touch me. Don't you dare pull on me. Don't you dare grab on me like I'm a child. I'm not a kid. I'm damn sure not your kid and I'm not your woman. Don't touch me. I don't know what you got going. I don't know what you do with your woman at home, baby, but I'm not hurt, okay? Do not put your hands on me. To sum it up, to make it sound a little bit more professional for camera, 
that's kind of kind of sort of what I said okay <laughs> that little area pissed me off so bad because you're not about to make me feel uncomfortable for no money it's never that serious and everybody was just acting broke like everybody was acting like the most they had was like 40 50 dollars like and I'm just like yo like y'all blowing it I ended up getting picked in this section it was like eight nine people in the section they all had they all had about maybe $50 each because that's what last night gave, $50 each. And then, crazy part about it is by the time they got done throwing all their money and I looked at the ground, it looked it like it was like $100 on the ground. Did they pick the money up? You know what I'm saying? Because we did walk away, but it's kind of like I wasn't trying to waste my time. Like, normally, I wouldn't walk away from my money. I'm going to make sure my money's picked up. And that's what y'all need to do as well. If you don't ever walk away from your money, make sure they always pick your money up. Because people be on that weird type of time. Like, they'll throw money and then once you walk away, they'll pick it back up. But <clears throat> usually, I'll pick my money up or wait to get, for it to get picked up. But it wasn't enough money to wait there to see if it got picked up or not. Like, it was literally like $100. I honestly, truthfully... I didn't really care for real. Like, it really wasn't that much money. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just walk away. Like, I can't. I got to find some other money. Like, if the club is still looking like this, I ain't going to make no money. You feel me? So then these NBA players had ended up coming in. They ended up getting a section in the back. And they ended up getting $8,000. And so to get picked in the section, they wanted us to get on the stage and do a whole performance, y'all. Like, <laughs> I hate my club. My club is so ghetto. Like, we had to get on the stage and all. Oh, like, for what? Like, just pick who you want. Like, but they ended up picking me my home girl and this other girl and this other girl that wasn't even there which kind of like blew my mind because how you picking somebody that's not even there the problem became a problem because we was waiting on a girl that wasn't there to come she took forever to freaking get there and then i'm sitting up here and i'm talking to this one girl and i'm like yo where she at and she like i don't know somebody said she ended up getting into an altercation i don't know i i boom but I'm like, bro, these dudes is literally waiting on her. I don't I don't know if the dudes like personally knew her or what, but they was waiting on her. They was not throwing no money for her until she got there. But she took forever to get there. I guess she blew their whole mood, their whole vibe to where they just started throwing money. And I was just so happy. But girls, you know what I'm saying? They got $8,000, we gonna eat, you feel me? But she ended up coming like 30 minutes later and we ended up picking up our money and um, we ended up restarting the bag over when she got there. And But when she got there, they really, I don't know, I don't know if they was bored by that time or what ended up happening. They ended up not even throwing all their money. Like, I cannot stand when dudes do that. They ended up not throwing all their money. I was so annoyed. So they got $8,000 and they took home $5,000. So that means they threw like what, five? Six, seven, eight. They only threw like three thousand dollars. Like that's so ghetto. Like, but I ended up figuring out what really happened. What really happened was the actual NBA player, the one who's actually in the NBA. He ended up having a family emergency. So when he came to the club, he bought the section and he got the eight thousand dollars. He bought the bottles. He bought everything. But then after he bought everything and he had everything, he got a call. A family member had called him and was like, "Oh, ah, ah, ah." So he had to dip out. So he left his money with his homeboys on some type of time and like y'all could throw the money y'all. Can enjoy yourselves, but I gotta go. You feel me? So I don't know if his homeboys like was on some type of time to where like they took the money, take some money back for us type of time or what, but they took five thousand dollars and only threw three. Like that wasn't even half of the money. Like you should have threw at least another thousand dollars. Like I'm so confused. I think that's so freaking weird. Like if the dude left the money for y'all to throw, that obviously meant he wanted y'all to throw it, right? Because if he did want y'all to throw it, what do you think he would have got him a bag, put his money in his bag, and would have took it home with him? He left it for y'all. That means throw it. But I already know what type of time they was on. Like they was trying to scheme and plot. Like and at the end of the day, they worked regular jobs. Like the only person that really had money for it was the one who left. But mind you, he left the money for them i'm low-key an fbi agent in my head like i'm always trying to piece some stuff together and make three thinking in my head i'm like all right y'all got five thousand dollars y'all only threw three thousand dollars that only could possibly mean that y'all either gonna one have an after party which i highly doubt or two y'all keeping that five thousand for yourself and y'all just gonna say y'all threw it because it was three of them so if they five thousand divided by three that's a good little fifteen hundred piece you feel what i'm saying like i don't know y'all it just be all kinds of stuff going on and i really don't be jacking it for real like <laughs> that's what i'm saying y'all gotta pay attention like don't never let nothing go over your head because if you let something go over your head it's gonna go over your head okay <laughs> but let me show y'all this money count from last night um like I said, last night was, I don't know, last night was cool, but it was weird at the same time. So this is the money count from last night, so let's get it. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So this is 
And twenty dollars. Last night we made one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars on a Friday. That's actually really good compared to how the club was going. Cause like I told y'all, the club started off so freaking weird, like so freaking weird. But at the end of the day, I ended up making something shake. Okay, <laughs> so I'm actually definitely happy about that. I don't know if I'm gonna go to work tonight. They got something going on, but not in the city that my club is in. Like they got something going on, like forty five minutes away from my club. So I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily go to work or not. But we just gonna see. Got to go for last night was eight hundred dollars and we made $600, $1620 on a Friday. That is like actually really, really good. We doubled what we said we wanted to make. So period, <laughs> period. Do not play with your girl Barbie Stacks. I'm trying to tell y'all, cop y'all eBooks. Like y'all really could learn a thing or two from me. Like I've been dancing for seven years. I'm trying to tell y'all I'm educated. Like when it comes to this dancing thing, I'm really a genius to it, all right? So make sure y'all copying y'all eBooks. Like I said, the eBooks is only $40. The $40 is literally gonna teach you how to make your first thousand dollars in one night. As y'all can see, as y'all can tell, I always come on here all the time, show y'all my money counts, show y'all how much money I make. So y'all know for yourselves, like, this is real life facts. Like, I'm really living like this for real. But y'all, make sure y'all copy your ebooks before the price go up, because I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like, I feel like the type of information that I'm giving in the ebook is way more valuable than $40. But I wanted to price it at $40 so it could be reasonable for everybody to purchase. I'm going to make sure I drop the ebook in the description box below. So y'all, go make sure y'all copy our ebooks before the price go up. Because, But I love you guys so freaking much, and I'm going to see y'all later on before I go back to work. <laughs> What's up y'all so today is the next day actually like it's a couple days later i honestly truthfully miss y'all like when i go mia i be like damn like i miss my youtube family feel me <laughs> but your girl is in a car i just got done um making a deposit at the bank right now i'm on my way to the mall i need to pick me up a couple makeup items from ulta your girl is getting really low on her makeup i need me another eyebrow pencil i need me some more eyelash glue and i need me some more lip gloss so i'm about to go pick that up right now and then after that i need to go to like target or i don't know somewhere so i can get some cheap trash bags y'all it's so crazy because everything is high as hell like i remember when trash bags used to be like three dollars trash bags is ten dollars now is that not crazy? Do y'all remember when trash bags used to be like $3? And for the good trash bag, you'll probably pay like $5. But the most $5, like nowadays, you're paying at least $10 for trash bags. And that's crazy as hell. <laughs> but I did miss y'all so freaking much. I really don't like going MIA. I really didn't go MIA now that I'm thinking about it. Because I sometimes I do take like a little break here and there. But it just feel like it's been so long since I took the out. But let's go run up in this mall right quick and go pick up this makeup that your girl needs because I'm going to work tonight and I do not want to be looking crazy, okay? Because the worst thing is when you're running out of makeup and you're trying to make ends do, but it ain't nothing to make ends do because you ain't got no makeup, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm back from Ulta and your girl got her a couple of things. I really didn't get that much because like I said, I really didn't need that much. And I didn't want to go in there and spend crazy amount of money. Like I knew exactly what I went in there for. Let me just show y'all the two things that I got. I didn't go crazy at all. Like, and I'm so proud of myself because literally every time I go in a makeup store, like it's like I have no type of self-control. <laughs> I literally have no type of self-control because I love Ulta real bad. Like, like I would literally spend a whole check on Ulta. Went in there and got exactly what I needed. I I was gonna get this lip liner from mac y'all know the uh the lip liner from mac called chestnut i was gonna get that lip liner but they didn't have it so i just ended up getting my eyebrow pencil from morphe this eyebrow pencil right here 
bomb.com okay it's like literally the best eyeliner and it's cheap it's very affordable i think i only paid i i think after taxes i ended up paying like ten dollars for this eyeliner pencil it lasts you for so long like it may look small it may look like it doesn't have much in there but it definitely lasts you for a good little bit and the last thing that i ended up getting was this duo eyelash glue i was running glow literally on my eyebrow pencil and my eyelash glue so you go ahead and pick up those two items so we're done with that. Now all I have to do is just go to Target. I'm trying to figure out, like, would it be smarter to go to Target or Walmart? What y'all think I should do? Should I go to Target or should I go to Walmart? This is my dilemma, though. Walmart do be cheaper than Target. I can't even hold you. <laughs> Walmart definitely be cheaper than Target. But Walmart just literally makes my nerves bad. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, every time I go into Target, my nerves is literally shook, like, every single time. And I like the fact that I can go into Target. You know what I'm saying? It's not that many people in there. Everything's organized and everything's where the hell it need to be. And Walmart, everything is everywhere. You cannot find nothing. be too many people in there so literally walmart makes my nerves bad <laughs> is that just me i choose walmart over target or would y'all choose target over walmart because i'm definitely gonna choose target over walmart every single time so i think i'm just gonna go to target right quick so i can go get me some trash bags and i'm thinking about getting me something from starbucks because i want me a nice little drinky drink okay so <laughs> let's hurry up and make this run right quick because i still have to do my makeup get ready for work and i have some homework to do that's due today at 11 59 so yeah let's get to moving <laughs> We've made it to Target. Your girl's back from Target. I did all my little runs that I had to do for the day. Right now I'm at Chick-fil-A. I'm about to get me some food. But what's so crazy is that my appetite has been so large lately. Like I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's for the fact that I'm getting over being sick. And then from that whole week that I was hungry that I did not feel like eating is now just hitting me or what. But your girl has been so freaking hungry. I don't know what it is, y'all. I'm just freaking hungry. Like Barbie. All right, what would you like to Barbie? Um, can I get an eight count? Um, meal with barbecue sauce and a cup of water. All right, what else would you like tonight? Um, that'll be all. All right, so that total will be 803. Okay. Right. All right, you can see them as Barbie. Thank you. My pleasure. You have a great night. You too. Thank you. But like I was saying, I don't know what it is, but my appetite is so freaking big, okay? Good thing I'm going to work tonight so I could work off some of these calories because the way I've been eating today has been crazy, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Can I get one more barbecue sauce? These fries looking a little lint. Nah, they all right, they all right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all what I had got from Target. So I had got these insure drinks right here. Your girl's trying to keep her happy weight on her. And I don't know why at the age of 27, I still have a high ass metabolism. So I still have to maintain my weight somehow. So your girl got her some insures. I love the vanilla kind. I'm not really big of a, I'm not really a big like chocolate type of girl. So I ended up getting the vanilla. Then I ended up getting some Lunchables. These are for work. Cause after your girl get off work, I'll be so freaking hungry. And the club be charging you like $20 for six wings. There is no way from here to hell that I'm paying. 
$20 for no six wings, okay? <laughs> We're just not doing that. And then I ended up getting some paper towels and I got some trash bags. And then I had got some shaving gel. I had got this lotion. This lotion right here was very popular on TikTok not too long ago. But I'm the type of girl, I don't like to hop on bandwagons when everything's like popular. I like to hop on bandwagons when they're like not so popular. So this will be my first time trying this lotion out. This lotion smells so freaking good. Like, oh my God, I just had to buy it. <laughs> Then I had got me some baby wipes for work and then I got some more razors also for work. So all that I had got from Target. I spent $50 on this little amount of stuff. Like I'm low key pissed off because they really robbed me now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Definitely did. But I'm about to go ahead and head home before it gets too late because I have this assignment that I need to work on and I need to get ready for work. So I'm going to see you guys later on when I get What's up y'all? So your girl just got done doing her hair and her makeup. I did do my makeup on TikTok live. Y'all already know what I'm about to say, okay? If you're not following your girl on TikTok, go ahead and follow your girl on TikTok, okay? <laughs> and also on top of that, if you guys have not copped your ebook, make sure you copy your ebook, okay? The book is $40 and it's literally gonna teach you how to make $1,000. I don't know about y'all, but that's an investment, all right? <laughs> make sure you guys are investing in yourselves. It's 2024. If you're not investing in yourselves, what are you doing for real, okay? The best thing you can do in life is learn. The best thing you can do is learn as much as you can on top of that. So if you guys have not purchased the ebook, make sure you go down to the description box below and go buy the ebook. Today is Friday, y'all. It is time to go to the club. I'm super excited tonight. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a mood to make some money. The goal for tonight is $1,000, y'all. Your girl want $1,000, all right? <laughs> y'all think I could do it? <laughs> do y'all think your girl could do it? I think I could do it. I don't know if they have anything going on tonight. That's the only scary part about it. But as long as the money is in it, I can get it. But the only thing is, I don't know if they got anything going on tonight. But regardless, we're going to do the best that we can, okay? So wish your girl a fat, crazy, stupid bag, a peaceful bag, and let the money flow to us naturally. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today is the next day. Today is Saturday. It is March 23rd. It is 1034. I'm running a little behind on time because your girl was, uh, your girl went on TikTok live again. I like going on live because it'd be so late, it'd be so fun, but it always had me late. Like, <laughs> Every single time, I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Maybe if I start going live earlier in the day, maybe we're like around seven o'clock, it wouldn't be as bad because TikTok be having your girl late to sell, okay? But let me tell y'all about the club last night, show y'all this money count, and then hit the road because like I said, we are running a little behind on time. So last night was crazy and weird at the same time. Like the vibes, I don't know how to really describe last night. Like last night was kind of weird. Like I kind of felt like they really wasn't spending money for real. But then it's like, you. last night was more like a section night. Like you had to catch you a good section. If you caught you a good section, then you was definitely good to go. But let me tell y'all, before I get into the actual details of work last night, y'all please tell me why this man tried to come in a club with a gun. And not only with a gun, why did he try to hide the gun in his booty crack? The man literally put the gun in his butt, okay? <laughs> like, why do you have a gun in your butt? Like, <laughs> why do you have a gun in your butt? Like, I'm so confused. So, they, so the security had caught him, and they had told him three times, y'all, not one, not two, but three times, go back to the car, take the gun out your butt, and <laughs> take the gun out your butt, Leave it in the car and then we'll let you come in. The man got mad because the people started searching him, talking about, so why y'all touching me? Why y'all touch me? So I touch me. You y'all gay. Y'all gay. Y'all ah ah. How how are how we gay, but you the one with the gun in your butt? How are we gay, but you the one with the gun in your butt? Like, <laughs> make it make sense. Like, y'all, that was so freaking funny. It's a nerve for me. Like, you sitting here trying to talk about somebody else's sexuality, but here you are doing some homo type time. And like, you can tell he been in prison before because why, why do you have anything in your butt? Why are you trying to hide anything in your butt? I just cannot, I can't, I just, I don't know. I don't know, like, but let me tell y'all about the club last night, so. Last night was definitely a section type of night. If you did not get in a section, then you were definitely chop and screw because last night was just, I don't know, it was just one of the nights. I feel like last night was really hard though. Like you actually had to work hard for the money. Like I'm not used to working that hard for my money. I don't know, I don't like working hard for my money. I like my money to come easy. But don't get me wrong, if I had to work hard for my money, I'm definitely gonna work hard because at the end of the day, that's my money. But last night was so freaking hard. It was so hard. It was like you was trying to pull teeth out these dudes mouth just to get some money for them. Like them dudes was on a period last night. Like that's what it was getting. 
But um, I did end up getting in this one section last night, which I'm glad I got into because they ended up getting $2,000. But the girl that was in the section, she kind of blew me because she was very sassy. Like she was one of them girls that was like, yeah, I'm her. You know what I'm saying? Like she was one of them. Like, and I hate them type of girls. I hate them type of girls that think they're all that and try to make you feel low because they think they're somebody that they're not. And that's the type of time that she was on. She was like, it's my birthday. We about to turn up. You know what I'm saying? I can have any that I want. Like. We sit on here looking at her like, calm down. Like, why are you so hype? Like, <laughs> you sit on here talking about something. I can have any that they want. Like, don't nobody want you. We just want the money, ma'am. Okay. And then on top of that, she was so freaking sassy. Like, she was on that type of time where she was just like, if y'all if y'all don't turn me up, I'm swapping you out. If y'all don't turn me up, I'm swapping you out. Like, I'm just letting y'all know that right now. I'm in here for a good time, not a long time. And I'm like... You sitting up here saying you're here for a good time and not a long time, but you got 2000 You got 2000 Your homeboy got 1000 I actually forgot about him. So in total, the session had $3,000. I actually forgot about him. But yeah, her homeboy got 1000 and then she got $2,000. But my thing is, you're sitting up here saying you're here for a good time, not a long time, but y'all have $3,000. Unless y'all going to throw the $3,000 up in the air in the next 10 minutes, you're going to be here for a minute. So how are you sitting up here expecting us to pull all the tricks out the bag, spin on our head, you know, do a split, like spin on our neck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know, crunk dance. Like, I don't know what you want us to do. But the whole time y'all here, you have $3,000. Okay. How the hell do y'all expect us to, how the hell do y'all expect us to keep y'all turned and without taking no type of breaks? Don't get me wrong, like, I really don't get tired for real. Like, when I say I don't get tired, that don't mean I don't need to go to sleep. But, I mean, I do get tired, like, if I'm dancing nonstop, like, your girl gonna want a little break after a while. I ain't no slave. I can take a break, you know what I'm saying? So, she, that's how she was acting. Like, baby, what, the, what you not about to do is try to get me off no bag. I don't care if this is your money or not. Because by this time, it was probably like a good $2,000 on the floor. You talking about swapping somebody out, baby. You better try it lightly because I'm telling you, I'm picking, we picking this money up. If I made this money, we picking this money up. The hell is you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah, like she was so sassy, y'all. So we had to deal with her the whole night. That was freaking annoying. And then another thing about that section that got on my nerves is I feel like only me and my homegirl was really working that section for real. One of the girls walked all the way to the other section and she was making money in this section. And then the other girl, I don't even know what she was doing. She a, she a whole duck. She just sitting in the middle of the, of the floor just looking around with her mouth open, looking retarded. And so like, close your mouth. Why is your mouth open? Close your mouth. You look dumb. And so me and my homegirl working in the section, I'm just telling her, I'm like, yo, if they don't come back in the next, what, two, five, two to five songs, they getting off the bag because I don't work for nobody. I cannot stand when girls do that. They be trying to be on every single bag. Like, if you're not working for that money, that money does not belong to you. So I ended up talking to the manager. I'm like, yo, it's two other girls on this bag and we cannot... We can, but at the end of the day, they want all the girls that they pick to come to the section and dance. They don't want to just see one girl dance and then one leave, and then one come and dance and then one leave, and then one come. That's, that's not where they picked us. They want us all to turn them up. So I ended up telling him, I was like, can you please go find these other girls and tell them if they don't come to the section and they're not on the bag? Because I don't want no confusion, okay? Because if you don't come back within the next two to five songs, you're not going to be on the bag. I'm telling you that right now. You're not going to be on the bag. We will argue all night. If you want to throw hands, we can do that too. Because one thing I do not do is work for nobody. Period. I do not work for nobody. And ain't nobody working in the club for me. And that's just real. Like, I'm not the type of girl to sit up here and sit up here and fake it or funk it with you. Like, if... You are not working for the money. The money don't belong to you. What part of that you don't understand? Okay. But outside of that, y'all, the club was, it was all right. It wasn't the best. But like I said, it's definitely what you made. So your girl's going to work tonight, y'all. Let me show y'all this money count that I made um, last night. So this is what your girl made last night on a Friday. Let's start off with these big bills. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 700, 800. This is $100, y'all. I just don't have a rubber band. So that's $800. And this is the remaining of it. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine. This so this is twenty nine dollars. All together last night we made eight hundred and twenty nine dollars on a Friday. That's actually not bad because y'all the club was so weird last night. Like last night we was dealing with a whole bunch of broke people, a whole bunch of scammers, a whole bunch of sassy women trying to control dudes and their money. Like last night was really weird. So I'm actually happy with what I did make, y'all. If I'm not mistaken, yesterday I said the goal was eight hundred, at least eight hundred dollars, and we made our goal. Okay, so I'm definitely excited about that. Y'all know I'll be excited when I meet my goals and stuff like that. But um, your girl is going to work tonight. I need me at least a thousand dollars tonight. I'm making on a thousand dollars. I'm gonna be a little late going to the club because it's already ten forty four. I still need to stop and get gas, so I'm just so far behind on time. So the goal for tonight, y'all, is a thousand dollars. I want to make if I can make twelve hundred, I would definitely be happy to where I could bring home two k for the weekend because y'all know I do not work on Sundays anymore because I have school. But the minimum for tonight is a thousand dollars, y'all. Get your girl a fat crazy stupid bag, a peaceful bag, and let the money flow to us naturally. Don't forget to copy y'all ebook, all right? By the time this video go up, I want to see at least 10 of y'all purchasing y'all ebook. But I love you guys so freaking much. I'm about to go ahead and head to work before I'm late. It's already 1046. Like, oh, I'm making bad freaking time. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all when I get to the club. What's up, you guys? So today is the next day. And let me just tell y'all how the club was and then show y'all this money count from last night. So y'all, first and foremost, don't mind my hair. I know it looks a little old. That's because I had them in since the beginning of this month. Don't lie, like I had these in for like a good three weeks. It's about time they come out. But anyways, um, let me just tell y'all how the club was last night and then show y'all this money count. So last night, I feel like the vibes was very much weird. Like everybody was just on that type of time where everybody was kind of like just sitting back and really wasn't trying to do much. You know what I'm saying? And my whole thing is, if you feel like you just want to come to the club and chill out, baby, go to the regular club. Like, this is not the regular club. Like, this is a strip club. Once again, a strip club. That means you have to spend money, okay? So, I hate, I just cannot stand when dudes do not understand that. Like, what part of that you don't understand? But, um... But this one section did piss me off though. What happened was I was trying to get in this section and one of the girls that was in the section wanted me to be in the section. So she was just like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I passed out all the wristbands. She was like, I wanted you to get in the section, but I passed all the wristbands out. So I was just like, you can get another wristband. All you have to do is just pay for it. She was like, how much is it? I was like, like $20 for a wristband. The girl gave me the money to go get another wristband. And then when I went to go talk to the manager about it, he was just like, oh, nah, baby. They, they picked all the girls they got. They picked all the girls they got. I'm like, they only have three freaking girls. Like, what's so hard about adding one more? Because it's been plenty of times when I've been in sections and y'all had no problem adding two extra girls and it was already four or five of us on the bag. You know what I'm saying? So why are you acting so confused today? Like, why are you acting like you go by the rules today? Like, it pissed me off so bad. But honestly, everything happens for a reason. So the reason why... I really, really, really wanted to get in the section was because my homegirl told me that they was going to throw a check, okay? And so, you know, me, I'm thinking numbers. I'm like, all right, bet. So I need to make sure I get in this section. Tell me why they only ended up throwing $700. <laughs> They ended up only throwing $700. I was so happy I didn't get in that section because if I would have gotten that section, I would have missed out on the money that I actually ended up getting somewhere else. So I'm just actually kind of happy that actually worked out for me because when I figured out they only threw $700, I was like, damn, I was going hard over a wristband that I was only gonna get $100 for? Like that is crazy as hell. Like when I really sit back and think about it, it's crazy. But you know, at the time I didn't know that. At the time I was just going off of what my homegirl had said. So I was like, damn bet i need to make sure i get in this section i need to make sure i get in this section but like i said everything ha everything happens for a reason and then on top of that my homegirl told me how she was uncomfortable in the section anyways I was talking trash about her asking her what's wrong with her why she's not dancing why she don't drink da, da, da. everybody don't drink that's another reason why i'm happy i didn't get picked in the section because i know me and my mouth like we would have been in the section throwing hands for sure like because who you what you what hi who you talking to and what you talking about what's wrong with me what's wrong with you Okay, so don't play with me. <laughs> it, I don't know, y'all. It was just so crazy how that played out. But like I said, if I would have got picked in that section, I would have never got the money that I ran into on the floor. They had blessed me on the floor for sure. And I got on the stage. They threw Mad Bird on the stage as well. So like I said, everything happens for a reason. You may not can see 
the reason right now, but you will see the reason, okay? <laughs> but y'all, let me just show y'all this money count from last night. So this is what your girl made last night on a Saturday. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 20, 1, 2, 3. So last night we made $723 on a Saturday. I did not work Sunday and I'm so mad that I did not. But y'all, just hear me out. The only reason why I don't work Sundays is because I go to school. So if I work a Sunday off rip, I'm not going to school Monday. I'm almost towards the end of the school semester. So why am I going to start missing days now if I ain't been missed the whole time? You know what I'm saying? That don't even make sense. And then on top of that, I have all A's in all my classes because I actually go to class. I pay attention. So I just don't want to mess up my grades for work because last time I went to work on a Sunday, I didn't make no money. So I was like, you know what? That's your signal, your sign is sit down, okay? Go to school. Sundays, you can work Friday and Saturday, but Sundays, sit it down, okay? I didn't work Sunday, but I kind of wish I did because they had made some bread Sunday. I was like, damn, like that is so crazy how they be working out. Like the nights that I don't go to work, they make so much money. Like I don't, I don't be understanding. Like, like I said, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I ain't even gonna say maybe God knows something that I don't because obviously he knows everything but maybe maybe they needed it more than me i don't know y'all but literally every time i don't go to work they they turn up they go crazy okay <laughs> but your girl it did end up making seven what 23 i think i said which is not bad for a saturday but i love you guys so freaking much i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog like i said i'll be trying to make my vlogs longer for you guys i know i haven't posted in what like a good week or so but like i said if i'm not pushing out long enough content i'm not just putting nothing out there anymore because i probably y'all that i would make longer content for y'all so if i do have to wait an extra week to get that content then that's just what i'm gonna do but i love you guys so freaking much do not forget to copy our ebooks if y'all have not don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button leave a comment down below turn on your post notifications so you can notify when i post a video and i love you guys so freaking much and i'll see you in my next video